What I have in front of me is four more boxes of quarters. And for those wondering, I have hunted 23 boxes of quarters on the year and I've only found one silver quarter. Now I have found my fair share of W's, but I cannot find silver quarters in my quarter boxes to save my life. So we're hoping that these four boxes today yield something silvery. Of course, I'll take more W's or varieties as well. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. That's right, I'm doing four more boxes of quarters today. Man, we're on a mission. I've got one silver quarter found on the year and it was a 1964 and it was my first set of boxes back in January when I found it. So, we're hoping that today breaks the 100 day streak of not finding any silver in my quarter boxes. Like I said in the intro though, I've had my fair share of W finds and I can't get mad at my December find of that 1976 DDO that I found in a circulated quarter box. So I'll be using my Clyde Cornage Varieties mat today, namely looking for most of these varieties. Of course, there's other ones listed and I will be checking some of those as well, but hoping to score a variety, hoping to score a silver mostly, but I'll take the W's like I've said a few times. Now all the boxes have been checked and they all are circulated quarter boxes. So no 2020 W's likely in these boxes, but fingers crossed. This box is not opened, but I can see through the holes on the bottom that it's also circulated. Didn't see any enders of the 200 top sides of the rolls that I checked. So it's gonna have to have some goodies inside. Let me go ahead and bring this box down. We'll do a live opening for any enders on top and then we'll get to hunting. It is one of the 3365 boxes, and those have been better for me lately with half dollars, so hopefully it's better for quarters too. All right, we've got the box brought down. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see if by some magical reason, we've got something on top worth getting excited about. I don't see anything too crazy. I do see a really crazy toned one here. Probably just a 60s or 70s with damage, but we'll definitely, definitely be opening that one up to take a peek inside. As far as 2019 or 2020 designs, I don't see a whole bunch of them, but they could be tucked in the rolls. I do see a Kansas State quarter. We check it for the in God we rust air, but outside of that, enough chit chat. Let's get the hunt started. We're gonna kick it off with the odd one first, and I'll bring you in if it ends up being something Worth mentioning. Well, roll 28 is going to get our first real find, and it is another proof quarter. And I already checked. It's from Kansas again. We found one of these in one of our last hunts. So that's our second one that we've got. San Francisco minted. Pretty good cameo on there, but pretty trashy too from being in circulation. It gets us on the board. Box one, 28 rolls in. Well, box one is done. And let me tell you a couple things about the box. We did get a little handful of Bicentennial quarters, which I checked the Denver minted ones for the DDOs, didn't see it. I even checked them all under the scope for the die clash that's pretty popular amongst them. We did find the one proof, but in that box, we only found four 2019 designs, three from Lowell and one from American Memorial Park. That's it. So the chances for a W became pretty plain that I wasn't gonna find one about halfway through the box when I'd only found two 2019 designs. No other varieties, no silver, no foreigns, no nothing. It can only get better from there. That box is done. We're gonna move on to this box next and pray there's something we're showing in that one. 100 rolls hunted now. Yep, that box was a total skunker overall. The only keeper coin of the box is a 1982 Denver in pretty great shape. And as you know, 82 and 83s did not have uncirculated sets minted. So you have to only get the ones that were sent out to circulation, which is why they fetch more in higher grades. This is probably low mint state or high AU condition. AU 55 to MS 62, somewhere in that range. So I'll be holding on to that one. We did grab 12 more bicentennials like the first box. Those we be going back. I've already scrutinized them. Handful of decent state quarters that I'll check against my collection. And we did end up finding seven 2020 American Samoa back quarters, if you will, which will go back. But I pull them out just to keep track of how many were in the box. 
Halfway through the hunt, no silver yet, no W's yet. Two more boxes. Guess we'll clean up this one, get started on that one, and have our fingers crossed for something worth finding. 150 rolls now hunted. That box did not have any finds as far as keeper coins. I mean, I did find 13 bicentennials that I checked, of course. Typical about what I've been finding, 12 to 13 bicentennials in every box. We did have three nicer older coins. That's a pretty nice 1965, which I will hold on to. Also a pretty nice 1969. Don't see too many of those. And a decent... 1981 Philadelphia. I don't keep a lot in the 80s unless they're really nice and this one's pretty good overall and because I don't keep a lot in the 80s I figured I'd keep a few more than I normally do. That's it. Three side finds. Still just the proof. Handful of bicentennials. One more box to go. We'll get into it and hopefully we find something for you guys. Roll 27 of the fourth box or roll 177 of the hunt. And we finally got another find. This is a 2005 Kansas State Quarter minted in Philadelphia. You do want to check for the In God We Rust Air, which is what this one is. You can see some of that tea, but it's still an In God We Rust Air. And what happened was they had a little bit too much grease in the die and it actually had a weak strike on the trust, which is why it's called the In God We Rust Kansas State Quarter Air. It's pretty cool to look at with the naked eye because it looks like it says In God We Rust. Under the scope, you can make out the T. First variety find of the four boxes along with a proof, but that's it. Hopefully, something's in those final 23 rolls. Roll number 50, and in the absolute crazy chance that we have something in here, I figured I'd open it live, and actually it's roll 200 of the hunt but I'd hate for me to get a fine in the very last roll of the very last box to end the video and not open it live. So we'll open it live and pray that we find something. And uh, let me just hunt through it really fast and see if there's anything worth mentioning. Crazy how quarters lately have been so tough for me. And I don't know if it's because there's more hunting going on for quarters due to the W's or is it possibly because the coin stars are now segregating silver quarters and collectors are scooping them out of the discard bins and maybe they're not just getting back into circulation? Of course, quarters have continued to be heavily hunted for years and uh, they are one of the most handled coins in our currency system, which would account for the fact that the silver is probably easier to pull out. That's it. 200 rolls hunted. We did get 11 more 2020 back quarters. I did get another, I guess, 10 to 12 bicentennials, and I kept a handful of really nice 09s and other state quarters. We did find the In God We Rust there, as well as the proof in all those boxes. And I did keep some really nice older quarters, a 65, a few 73s, one a P and one a D, and a 1982 Denver as well. Because we didn't have a lot of finds, let me go ahead and pull out a couple of coins that I have in my collection that are silver and give you a look at them. So here's a handful of quarters I recently acquired from a lot of quarters that I saw and figured I'd get them. Beautiful 1942 right here, minted in Philadelphia. Absolute stunner. Some of these I have to re-look at to see if any are worth grading. They're all in BU condition but whether or not they're a high mint state, I haven't determined. But I wanted to give you a look at them. That's a 43P. I got quite a few 43Ps here. They're absolute stunners. But got to look at them under the microscope to see if there's any imperfections, any scratches, dings, things like that. Things that would keep them from being higher than a mint state 65. On a lot of these quarters, they're probably like this one, got some uh, problems, but they're probably all mint state 60 to 63. There might be some 64 or 65s in the lot. And if uh, I'm really lucky, we could get a 66. But who knows? I'll do some more looking at them. And if I end up submitting them in for grading, then obviously that will be in a future video. I didn't pull out all of them. And I haven't pulled out the 60s at all. 
Just figured I'd give you a look at the older, nicer ones that I have. Again, I apologize for the fact that we haven't been finding silver lately. You know, it's odd to me that I've now gone through 27 boxes this year and have only amassed one silver quarter in all my hunts. As a matter of fact, I have picked up two out of coin stars. And uh, so you could honestly say it's almost better to hit up coin stars than it is to quarter hunt through boxes. Beautiful Tony on that one. But you can't get W's as easily that way. And we are on the hunt for W's. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quarters. Just wanted to show you some nice silver so that way you could see some in this video. Hopefully, despite the lack of finds, you had fun joining me on this hunt. This is Coin Roll Hunting. We had a four box hunt just a week ago where I got all five W designs from 2019. And then we had a four box hunt this time and we got zero Ws. Crazy. If you enjoyed the quarter hunt despite the lack of finds, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.